gun sliding. Dakota here and uh, my cousin Austin who you guys should have seen on the channel a few times by now if you've been watching for a little bit um, and we are in his GR86 and uh, today we're gonna be talking about kind of how it's been after he's owned it for a little bit how long have you had it? You had it about eight months now Almost. January like late January so yeah, yeah just about, about, eight, about months. eight months yeah so we're gonna get started as you guys could tell from the intro this thing is a blast um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started with just some of the questions that you guys might have planning on buying a GR86 or if you're just curious. All right, so I guess the first thing we should talk about is how many miles are on it? Uh, so right now we're looking at 8,349, so 8,349 miles. And have you had any issues with it since you've picked it up? Mechanically, no issues. I haven't had anything where I was just worried about the car or where I was like, I have to take this into service or anything like that. But one morning I was, on a Sunday morning actually, I was waking up to go get some breakfast and I got in my car and turn it on and I actually don't even remember exactly what happened but I do remember my car would start and it sounded like the engine was turning over so obviously I got worried and then all my lights went off every code got thrown They're all on the dash um, every and everything like a Christmas tree and uh, so I finally after fiddling with it for a while I got it to start and then I drove to the nearest Toyota um, service center and they told me that it was a tire pressure sensor that went bad so since since it's lit up you haven't had that one time you haven't had any it hasn't come up since no absolutely since not that yeah. one time. literally haven't had any issues with it since then um, still haven't taken it to the service center about anything else so everything's been good yeah, I guess since this is if you guys don't know this is his daily driver you daily drive this thing yep. every single day every day to work from work wherever um, I'm going. so how has your your gas mileage been? Which I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, it's not for that. But like when you use it as your only car, sometimes you know stuff like that matters. So, how's your gas mileage been using it every day? I would say that it could be better, but that's my fault, not the cars. <laughs> so, I love this car, and this car is extremely fun to drive, and I drive it to have fun, not to necessarily you know be boring or anything. I'd say the gas mileage, it is good if you drive it. If you drive it right, yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. all about your driving habits. Now, I don't have the best driving habits, so I have a lot of fun when I drive. So, for me, I'm getting about 22 miles to the gallon. Uh, man, that's, that's probably, that. that's mainly, I'd say most of that is probably city. Yeah. You know, we're not, we don't have a long commute, so we're not just cruising on the highway for, yeah. you know, 35 minutes every day, so. Yeah. After having the car for, whatever, basically, basically eight months, A, would you buy it again going back and, and do it all over again? And do you still get enjoyment out of the car even though you daily drive it and you've had it now for eight months? Oh yeah, absolutely. So um, one of the things is about me is like, I always want new stuff. So I'm always wanting something new. Um, you know, I got this car and then I found myself shortly after, you know, getting car fever again. You know, yeah. you're always buying cars, so I'm <laughs> seeing that. And that looks fun, you know, yeah. I want to be a part of that. But um, at the same time, like, I love this car yeah. and there's times where I'm like, oh, you know, I want this car, you know, Audi RS3 sounds cool. Yeah. So, you know, that got released and I was like, oh, I want that car now. That would be a car I'd be interested in. But the more I think about it, there's times where I'm just driving this and I'll pull a slide out of nowhere and I just fall in love again. Or yeah. there's times where I'm just walking up to my car to go to work and I see it in the right light and the right angle and everything just hits perfect. And I'm just like, damn. Yeah, that's a nice that's, car. That's a cool I car. love it. Yeah. If you got, if you have like, you know, three kids, it probably isn't. Yeah, it isn't the car. You still have to make the right decision. But I do feel like if you're in the market for a car similar to this, there's not a lot of better options. Yeah, there's really not. Yeah, no, I mean, because we've talked a lot about it, like obviously off camera. We both kind of come to the same conclusion that for the money, for thirty grand, you know, I mean, for a for a fun sports car, there's really nothing better that you can buy. I mean, yeah, and I've had a Miata, so I know yeah. like. I've gotten to see 
you know, a small, a smaller version of this basically. And yeah. I am a hundred percent, as much as I love Miatas and I, this yeah. is my, well, and I pick this over anything. Almost. Especially when you compare a new Miata. I mean, cause yeah. new Miatas aren't cheap. A new Miata MSRP for, to be what compared to this is 36 grand. And if you get the, the retractable fastback, it's even more. Yeah. So you could save yourself, you know, four to $6,000, get one of these. Get that, you get two back seats, two which back seats. you can argue they're not functional, but I can argue they are. Yeah, these, I mean, these seats go down and I can have four tires back there. I can hold four go, tires and wheels. Or you just use them as a spot for backpacks on a road trip. Backpacks. You can't put small kids back there. Yeah, my little sisters, they fit back there. Overall, as a car, so you basically, you, you would buy this again. If you, if, you had to, if you had the opportunity, you'd buy it again. 100%, yeah. All right, so the next thing that everybody's gonna to wanna to know is after we talk about you know having no mechanical issues, you still love the car, you'd still recommend buying one and you'd buy it again, is what are the mod plans and do you have anything that you're like, you're wanting to do? Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, you already know, uh, one of the things I can't really stop talking about lately is uh, whether or not to get TE37s, yep. keep the silver color, yep. or wrap it like a World Rally Blue or I'm thinking like a like a darker cherry red yeah. and get some like gunmetal gray wheels or uh, hell even bronze maybe. Yeah. I mean, if I do the cherry red or blue, I'd be open to, um, you know, like gunmetal gray, black or bronze wheels. So I have more options there. Um, but if I wrap the car, I'm not gonna buy a TE37s because I'm trying to keep that price around the same point, you know, right. so. You know, wrapping we found out is around about twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred so. bucks. So, you know, if T thirty sevens are almost four grand for you know a whole set, yeah. Then you know twenty five hundred bucks. I have about another fifteen hundred to two grand to work with for my wheel. What do you guys think? You know, do you all think that this gr gr eighty six looks better with the silver and then maybe some T thirty sevens because that is one of my preferred wheels. I do yeah. love those. Yeah, they look good. They're just pretty pricey and it's worth it to get the real ones. So I do it. Um, or should I go ahead and wrap the car silver, or excuse me, blue or red, and uh, go ahead and get new wheels, but not spend as much? Yeah. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think. Um, Just leave, know, a, leave a comment down yeah. below. You know, so, what, do you, what do you guys think? You guys think silver with I'm assuming black T uh, T37s? T37s that would be black, or like a really dark, dark gray. gray. But again, I think they only have a few color options. Yeah. So, what do you guys think doing World Rally Blue or like a darker kind of red? with some different wheels. Yeah, uh, what, what do you guys think would look better? Um, so like I said, leave a comment down below and let us know. All right guys, so obviously this is his car, um, but I have driven it a few times. He, he's uh, been kind enough to let me drive it. And if you are if you have you know 30 grand to spend or that's the amount that you're looking to stay within, I don't think there's any better car for 30 grand. I really like this car. And a little, little known fact that you guys don't know is I was actually gonna buy one of these cars before he was gonna buy one of these cars. Um, because I just think it's such a good value for money. It's a fun car. The interior is, for again, for the money, it's better than my Shelby, no questions. Um, it's put together well. It's a Toyota and a Subaru, so it's reliable. And it looks cool, and it's a blast to drive. I mean, we've had a bunch of fun driving it, especially today, but when we took it to the autocross day, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and today was fun. Yeah, today we had a blast. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below about, you know, anything that we maybe didn't touch on and, you know, we'll get together and kind of answer some of those questions for you guys. Absolutely. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did. Thanks, guys. Give it a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Take care.